I knew I was a day three guy. You know, I had uh, two teams really interested, Kansas City and the Philadelphia Eagles, I thought were the two teams that showed the most interest early in the process. I decided I didn't want to watch the draft, so my family, my brother, my mom, my dad, my uncle, we all went bowling. Really? Round four passes. <laughs> Round five passes. At this point, we're done bowling. <laughs> <laughs> sure enough, 215 number starts ringing on my phone, the Philadelphia area code, and it's Andy Reid. And Andy Reid gets on the phone, and he's at, are you healthy? Anything <laughs> happened since the last time we saw you? <laughs> I'm like, Coach, I'm good, I promise you, I'm, all, I'm ready to go. But all that stuff, you know, I was upset that it had went that long, and I was frustrated the moment I got picked. All your dreams are realized. It's the greatest moment in, the, in, in my life to this day, uh, outside of my kids being born. It's, you know, it's the realization that you're about to play in the NFL. What was your brother Travis doing at the time? Man, man? He was in the other room. Yeah. Nobody wanted to go near me because yeah. I could get a little upset. And <laughs> everybody was out there, and um, I don't really know what my brother's first reaction was. I know my dad, I knew it finally got announced because I heard the cheers in the other room, mm. and I felt my, and I saw my father come in, and my father's got tears rolling down his face. Um, and I knew that uh, it, it had finally been announced to everybody wow. out there. But, yeah, the moment I got out there, it, everybody's so happy. I had so many teammates from college out there with me as well. Bowling score, you remember? Uh, oh, man, I was not good. I was distracted. <laughs> I was distracted. <laughs>